percentages. This is what they look like, 78%, same thing as 78 over 100, same thing as 0 0.78. Use these, they're much easier to use inside equations. Percentage equals part over whole. What's 50% of 32? Plug in what we know. We know the percentage and we know the whole. So that leaves the part to be X. And multiply each side by 32. X equals 16. Another way you can think about this problem, percentage times the whole will equal the part. What's 15% off of 60? First, we need to figure out what 15% of 60 is. Our percentage is 15, part over whole. Multiply both sides by 60. 15% of 60 is nine. So what is 15% off of 60? 51. You're not paying 100% of the price. You get 15% off. So you're actually only paying 85%. Percentage times the whole equals the part equals 51. Two steps instead of four. Either one of these methods work. So let's look at this example and see if you can solve it yourself. They don't give us the price of the stock. So we have two choices. So we're just gonna use a variable. Just like this equation up here, for our whole times the percentage. So after a 40% reduction we have 0.6 x increase by 70 or increase by 1.7 a hundred percent plus 70 percent is a hundred and seventy percent aka 1.7 and we get 1.02 x which means that the stock is now a hundred and two percent of what it used to be if you don't want to find the variable, you can just pick a number for the stock. So if the stock's 100 bucks, we take our 40% off, then we add our 70%, 102. So we're gonna get the same answer anyways, right? Either way it works.